friends welcome back to Drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to convert image to word document so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you a uh, image that i have here with some dummy text this is a png file as you can see here if i open it it has some dummy text with a title how to convert image to word document and you can see this is a dummy text and a png image now how do we convert this to word document without using any third-party application now let's go ahead and open up our microsoft word right so i'm going to go ahead and open up the word document here and as you can see i'm in microsoft word so what do we need to do now so what do we need to do now guys is simply click and insert and from here you want to click the drop down on the pictures now from here you want to select this device and you want and you want to go ahead and find the image that that you want to convert so i'm going to select this image and i'm going to insert it into my microsoft word and it's still an image there as you can see you cannot highlight anything it's just a basic image but no you want to go ahead and click and file and click and save as you want to select somewhere in your computer so let's select browse and i'm going to select the downloads folder just the same no the thing is you want to go ahead and switch the save as type you want to change that to pdf so go ahead and save that as pdf i believe it as doc 6 it doesn't matter click and save and now you will see that the document is saved as a pdf you might be wondering why i save this as a pdf document right when we want to convert this into a word document and you will see the reason why in a moment so as you can see it is converted into a pdf document now what you want to do now guys you want to go ahead and remove this image that you have inside your microsoft word document that you've created so you want to go ahead and delete that image outside of word now the next thing you want to do is simply go ahead and click on file again and you want to simply click on open now from here you want to go ahead and locate from here you want to click and browse and you want to select the the you want to select the pdf document that you have created so select the pdf document simple click and open you will get a pop-up here that basically ask you you'll get a pop-up here asking to convert the file into a word file from pdf so just simple click and ok and what's going to happen is that microsoft word will convert that pdf document into a word document now if you look at this guys you can see now that i'm able to copy the text here and as you can and as you can see i'm able to copy the text here so i can go ahead and i can copy the text And as you can see, I can easily go ahead and copy the text as I wish. Now, another way how to go ahead and easily do this to make it even easier if you don't want to go through the hustle is you want to go ahead and open up your browser. Let me go ahead and close out of Word here. And you want to go ahead and open up your browser. Open up your browser, guys. And you want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and type in I love PDF, right? You want to head over to ilovepdf.com you can type that within google as well and you will find i love pdf website now from here once you're at this website it allows you to convert multiple different documents into pdf so you have the option to convert a pdf to word you have the document you have the option to do a And with this and with this free online tool, guys, you have the option to convert the PDF document that we have saved into Microsoft Word. So as you can see here, it says PDF to Word. So you can click on that, select the file, or you can drag and drop the file. So you can find the file, select it, and it's going to load into this new tool. And you can simply click and convert. Now, once you click and convert, 
you can simply go ahead and click continue without OCR. It's really up to you. It will go ahead and do the conversion real quick. And you will see in a moment that it will download the document for me in a Word file. So if I go ahead and open that file, you will see that it converts it into Microsoft Word. And I can simply click on edit. And if you look at this, you can see that I now have a Microsoft Word document. So by right, you will see And here you can and here you can see that it converts it into a Word document. And the final way I'm going to show you how to convert, and the final way I'm going to show you how to do this is using another free option. So what you want to do, guys, is simply go ahead and go to google.com. And once you're in google.com, you want to go ahead and click the and now, once you're at google.com, towards the right-hand side of the search, you will have search by image. You want to click on that, and you want to upload the image that you have. So you'll find the image. So let me go ahead and click on the PNG image, which is this Domitex. Click on open, and you will see that it loads into the Google source, right? You can see that it loads here. Now, from here, you want to click on text, and it will go ahead and highlight all those texts. Now, you want to go ahead and click on select all from the right hand side. Then from here, you want to simply press either control C to copy, or you can simply click on copy here. And from here, you want to open up your Microsoft Word and you want to simply go ahead and press control V. And as you can see here, it loads in all those texts within from that image into Microsoft Word. Of course, the sizing is a bit off, but you can easily go ahead and change the size to whatever you want by simple go ahead and change the text size. You can also do that for the title as well. But these are some of the easiest and the fastest way, guys, or you can easily go ahead and convert image to text, convert image, how to convert but these are some of the easiest ways how to convert image to Word document in on your computer without using any third party application. Now, once you do that, you can always go ahead and click on save. Just go ahead and click on file, then go ahead and save, and you can save the document to whatever you want. And as you can see, I have my document. I can always go ahead and open up this document whenever I want from wherever the location I save it. And as you can see, I have it here in my downloads folder. I can close this and I can open it any point in time I wish and have it readily available to, readily available to me. But that's it guys, very easy and very simple.